Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on this video, we're going to be going over this stencil here. It's a six inch oval stencil in 0.380, which is what my PowerMax 45 requires. Now, this is from 911motorsports.net. And um, there's different choices to pick from. And they go from 0 0.380, 0 0.480, and 0.580. And that has to do with where the, the torch cuts. You know, the little gap between there where it rides. You know, plasma cutter is going to ride there on the edge, but the cut's going to be on the inside, and I'll show you in a few minutes. But um, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. It has a brand new consumables on my torch, and let's get to it. So I'm just going to clamp this here. I already got my ground on here, and turning on my Power Max. All right guys, so once I, as you can see, there's some lines right here and you can align that with uh, the lines on your cutout. For example, when I did this one freehand, you know, I had some lines to guide myself with. So you got some nice little lines on here and um, we're gonna get to cutting. Now I gave it a second pass there because I kind of leaned my torch towards the inside and I want to have a perfect 90. Alright guys, so my compressor turned on and uh, I went ahead and paused the video. As you can see, it's a real nice cut here. I haven't taken any off of the sla any slag at all. And... Um, We're going to see how this light fits in here. Okay. As you can see, I cannot really push it. It's basically a uh, tight fit on there all right guys so here's the conclusion to my video and um, the cutouts are perfect they look like they're made out on, on a CNC machine because you got this little guide and um, as long as you can guide your torch on there you'll have a perfectly oval every single time now they do recommend um, to use the backside that way you don't mess up like all these little lines here that you might have and um other than that i mean it's worked pretty good i've made about four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is the 12 hole that i make and um as you can see the stencil's all nice no damage to it and um you can check them out at 911motorsports.net they also have stencils for circles slots and i believe square tube in there and you can end up with a nice uh cutout versus uh <laughs> A sloppy cutout which is um, what I did on my truck before I found these so that's it guys um, like I said if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so I'll have some uh, giveaways coming up soon and uh, like share and comment thank you bye bye